Is Porsche going to ultimately kill the manual transmission? It's getting close to being a reality with the 2013 Porsche GT3. Also, the 2013 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. It's a performer, but what about that V8? I'm Michelle Rahal with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. According to a recent report by Inside Line, the 2013 Porsche 911 GT3 could be offered exclusively with a PDK transmission. August Ockleitner, the 911's project chief, said the company is currently testing manual and PDK transmissions on GT3 prototypes, but only one will be offered on the production model. Well, the PDK transmission is all but a done deal, as Ockleitner said, quote, when we launched the 911 Turbo S, we did not offer a manual, and we have had not one single complaint, unquote. Regardless of which transmission is offered, Ockleitner confirmed the next generation GT2 and GT3 will have an electromechanical steering system. Now, it's received some flack for not offering a lot of steering feedback, but Ockleitner said, quote, all our race drivers prefer it. Well, manual shift Porsches now account for only 30% of 911 Porsche sales. If that tells you anything. Me, I like the road field, and I like to feel the shifts. I don't have a problem with the PDK system as long as the shifts are quick. I'll say it again, though. The cars with this type of transmission are hard to drive slow. You have to train yourself not to hammer down every time you drive. You have to engage the driver aids. At least with a manual, it's easier to stay out of jail. Also, don't forget to check out myself and Rob D'Amico every Sunday morning from 7 to 9 a.m. on Race Day on Fox Sports Radio on over 250 Fox affiliates. Second on the list is the 2013 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. No, it doesn't have the V8 like in Millen's version, but it does come with a fairly stout direct injection V6 that produces 350 horsepower or a four-cylinder twin turbo that cranks at 290 horsepower. The updates over the 2012 include a new front fascia, a new grille, slicker headlamps, and hood design. The transmissions? You can get it with a six-speed manual or Hyundai's in-house designed eight-speed Shift Tronic, with the paddles, of course. The eight-speed sounds like it'll be a little softer shifting transmission than a dual-clutch setup. It's not my choice. On what you ride on, it's your choice of 18 or 19-inch wheels. At about $35,000, it remains to be seen how many people opt for the four-cylinder manual. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel. I'll see you next time.